If you live in or drive around the city of El Centro, you can't help but notice that even during a recession, the city hasn't changed much. In fact, it's visible that growth and improvements continue. Ivy Newsday asked city manager Ruben Duran why. Five years ago, uh, we went through this and we had a $6 million deficit. We worked our way out of that deficit. We put money away to cover our liabilities. And what we did not do was exceed our revenues. There is a lot of work going forward during this oh, uh, recession that we're in to build some other projects. For example, the Shaded Sports Court, which is a sports pavilion. It's indoor soccer. That's going forward. Well, we're right in the middle of all the documents. The funds are all there. It's $3 million to build that. Uh, it takes the place of the old pool because the old pool will have to shut down because of health and safety issues. And uh, that should be open in the fall. So we have a lot going on. And uh, some of the fun things also are the use of the old pop. The old post office pavilion is up and operating. Last year, though, we saw how bad it was getting. And we cut our budget substantially uh, within making things work. Well, unfortunately, it still wasn't enough. But we think we've got about another 18 months to go before things start turning good. So they're not bad, but they're not bad because we really are adjusting as we go. We're constantly looking at uh, how we spend our money. We just passed Measure D, which is a transportation, it's a road, it's a road package, half cent sales tax, passed by 84%. That's phenomenal enough in itself. But that 84% passed, it was a 40-year tax. That's confidence. And I think that's where building confidence with the community is really what they want.